In this video, I will introduce you to the concept of the fundamental counting principle. For shorts, you might also hear me refer to this as the FCP. We will begin by defining the principle, and then we will discuss the various ways in which it can be applied by digging into a few examples. Let's start by looking at its definition. The fundamental counting principle says that if there are A ways to perform one task and B ways to perform another, then there are A times B ways of performing both. Or we could say that there are A times B ways to perform task A and task B. Notice that I've emphasized a few key words here. It's important to recognize that we can only apply the FCP when the tasks are related by the word and. Sometimes this isn't obvious and we need to read between the lines to determine whether or not we can use the FCP. Let's take a look at a simple example. This one reads, you've packed for a vacation by putting five shirts and three pairs of pants into your suitcase. How many possible outfits can be made with what you've packed? Now, this is a question where we're going to have to do a little bit of that reading between the lines that I mentioned before. This question is asking us about outfits, and I don't explicitly see that keyword and that I'm looking for. However, we understand that to select an outfit, we need to select both a shirt and a pair of pants. When I reframe it like this, I can clearly see that task A and task B are related by that keyword and. Therefore, we can use the fundamental counting principle to determine the total number of outfits. Now, let's lay out what we know. There are five ways of doing task A, and in this case, that's selecting a shirt. There are three ways of doing task B, and in this case, that's selecting a pair of pants. And so to determine the total number of possible outfits, both task A and task B, I'm simply going to multiply those two numbers together. So A times B is going to give me the total number of outfits. I'm going to take five times three, and that will give me 15 total outfits that I've packed into my suitcase. Let's summarize what we've learned in this video. First, we define the fundamental counting principle. And then, we applied the FCP to a counting problem where the tasks were related by the word AND. Finally, we emphasized the use of keywords in analyzing a problem.